Okay, my name is uh, Eric Wilkerson. I'm a member of the uh, Chalagi Chachai. Most people will know Chalagi as Cherokee. Uh, we have, there's a state recognized tribe out of the state of Georgia, Cherokee of Georgia, um, that myself and my family are members of. Uh, we decided to put on this event um, not in uh, not in direct conflict with what the 450th celebration was, but to give people an opportunity to experience a little bit of native culture as well, because there were cultures that existed here for thousands and thousands of years prior to European advancement into the continent. Um, so we just wanted to give people an opportunity to experience a little bit of that genuine southeastern native culture. We also have um, some people that came from a little bit further out west too. Um, to give a little bit of context between Eastern uh, Indigenous people and Western Indigenous people. So we just wanted to uh, kind of highlight some of the things that uh, we hold near and dear to our hearts, um, some of the things that we'd like to share with people, and also to give ourselves a voice as well. Not just ourselves, but mainly we're doing this for the people that no longer have a voice. Okay, so they're speaking through us now. Um, in order for us to kind of let their story be known and allow people to gain a little bit of insight concerning the native people that lived here in this area. Not only in this area though, however, but all of the southeastern area because this is primarily like a southeastern native festival, but we do include some of the, uh, some of the western aspects to give people a little bit of context between eastern cultures and western cultures. Well, good afternoon. What we're doing is we have just done a pit fire, and the early people that lived here in San Augustine were known as the Tamuqua, and they hand formed their pottery, pinch pot and coil, like you see here, and then once it's formed, of course it has to be fired so it can be used. And what they would do is they would dig an actual pit in the ground, put their raw pots in them after they're dried, heap in dried material and fire them. They can't be touched, of course, until they cool. And if it were to rain right now, we'd probably lose every one of them. But the Tamuqua started making pottery in this part of our world 4,000 years ago, and surprisingly enough, 1,800 years before anybody formed it out west. But by that time, the people in this part of our world had become sedentary hunter and gatherers, so they had more time to sit and make different things with their hands. They weren't having to travel to chase their food like the people out west. The theory is that might be one reason that pottery was started here first. Well, uh, my name is Jody Gaskin. I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And uh, me and my wife, Sylvia, we travel around on the powwow trails. And uh, we heard about this gathering here. You know, this place where Ponce de Leon <laughs> came and destroyed. But uh, I, was, I was really... Uh, Really uh, honored that my nephew Eric asked us to come because this isn't the oldest city in North America. Mm -hmm. There were cities in North America before there was even Spain. How ridiculous is that? It's so uh, it's such a you know it's it's insane thinking to think that there was no one here that there were no cities in North America 
before the Spanish. Mm -hmm. It's insane thinking. So we come here to honor those people that lived here, you know. And I've, everyone has heard the story of Ponce de Leon, you know. He left that sick guy here with smallpox and, and wiped out the entire population of this whole part of the country, you know, because of uh, smallpox. And uh, so that whole civilization, and we come to remember them, all those people, those beliefs they had, they were very advanced people. They had very advanced language and culture and science. And, you know, it was a, you know, they built mounds that rivaled the pyramids, you know. And they were here a long, long time, you know. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So what, what is your tribe affiliation? I'm Ojibwe from Michigan, Anishinaabe. And my wife is a Cree from northern Manitoba, Canada. That's what it's mainly about. Is, is dancing for those who can't be here. For those ancestors that lived on this very same earth, this very same ground under that same sky. And we dance for them and pray for them. And they come and join us, you know. Those old spirits around here, older than Ponce de Leon, pff, way older. Eons older than that. Way before anyone even come over here from that part of the world. Every step is a prayer. Every song is a prayer, you know. And uh, I've been singing and dancing since I was in diapers, you know, so, you know, for sure. And and we go around and we share our culture. A lot of lot of some Indians out there say, "Ah, oh, we don't, we don't want people stealing our culture." It's not ours. It's just everyone's. Creator gave it to the people, not just Indian people. My grandma said, "If you got one drop of Indian blood in you, then you're Indian." You know, so we're the other side of that. We're, uh, 5, yeah, we're celebrating 10,000 years of our people being here, of this, you know, in this part of the land. That's what we're here for.